like you to state your name, and uh, and then we'll go from there. Okay. I look at you. You can. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Walter Clyde Robertson. R O B E R T S O N. Okay, and I guess my start will be, um, where did you grow up and where, where were you raised? Born April 23rd, 1918, 217 Victoria Street in Merchantville, New Jersey. Went to school at Merchantville up to the 10th grade. Situation changed with my Mother and father, they, my father got sick. He worked at Piers in Philly. He was superintendent, he got hurt, and then he was out of work and they didn't have unemployment like, benefits at that time. And I was worked, got a full time job at Philly Group in uh, Park Avenue on Center Street in Merchant of Joe Brown. He lived in Collegewood. He was the owner. Joe Wine was the manager. And I learned a lot from Joe Brown. He bought an insurance, life insurance policy on me, and he helped out. So so this is, so you dropped out of high school in 10th grade and went to work? to 10th, work. To tenth, yeah. Um, so when did you uh, decide to go into the military, or how did it occur that you uh, went into the military? I uh, was working for a wholesale candy out in the camp, and when this war started, there was no sugar going to be allowed for the candy makers, and I went. Out. My brother and sister-in-law had trucks that were hauling coal out in the mines in Pennsylvania, hard coal. Uh, Hazleton, Wilkes Bear, East Bear Ridge. That was a job, and uh, I registered for the draft in Merchantville. Do, do you remember what year that was, or was that right at the beginning of the war? One. Uh, I guess we signed up right away. I don't remember what, what date we had to sign up for. Well, the war started in, in December of 41. Yeah. Uh, I was home, had the radio on. So I went and signed up. And then uh, my brother had two other drivers, uh, old Cole. My sister-in-law thought she was smart, tried to keep John Deloge out of the service. And the draft board met at Rice and Holland's Ford dealership on Maple Avenue, uh, across from Union Avenue. Mm -hmm. And I think that was, that was Pence Hawking. Mm -hmm. Okay. And the draft board did not listen. And they drafted John. And he went to the Army. And then my turn came up, and she tried to do the same thing, the draft board did not listen, and I went in the army. And, so, and this was at the end of 41? Yeah. So do you remember where you went? You then went to um, we basic were, training? Oh, yeah. And do you remember where you went? Yes. We, uh, the council, Merchant Bill, talked to us. My sister was there. My mother and my wife were there. My mother-in-law was watching my daughter, who was five. Uh, and I got on the bus, they took us to Port I met a kid from Moulin, Ed Vickery. His father was chief of police in Moulin. And he could play the banjo or the guitar. And we found out after that, after we got to Port had started in our huts and was told 12 men. I was acting corporal, so anything that went wrong, the corp, corp, corporal would come down and talk to me. So you did your basic in Fort, Fort Dix? No, Fort, uh, 
Atlantic in Florida, about 50 miles from Jacksonville. Uh, hot. We went down there in May. Took 17 weeks of training, finished September, August. Sent home for 10 days, leave, and we boarded back to uh, Fort George Meade and went through the chow line. And the sergeant dishing out the food says, How do you want your eggs? And I looked at him like he was nuts because in basic training, we got pallard eggs <laughs> and stewed chicken on Sundays. And if you got in the channel line on Sunday and the chicken was still there, you didn't get in the beginning of the line. If the chicken was still in that pot, you knew it was bad. If it was low, then you could eat that stewed chicken. And in basic training, we had uh, a sergeant swing, a big Irishman, and he he read the book to us most of the time. We had one 17-week training. We had to go out and take fox holes on this project one morning. Well, the cooks overslept. And we had a sergeant who had been in the Aleutian fighting the Japs, and the Japs had left before they got there. I guess they were shooting one another, and that was 10th Mountain Division Two, And uh, Sergeant Mo here, very good vocabulary, and he looks he over was, slept. He was your sergeant at, at in boot camp. Yeah, and we went out. And Sergeant Mo here says, "No, no food, no work." So we sat on our butt, smoked our cigarettes. And I had chats with him because he had been in combat. And uh, Captain Berger, he was from North Jersey. His people owned a scrapyard up there. And he was only a little short captain. And then we had Lieutenant Oliver, who was about six foot three. He was from Hatboro. And they came out. And we were sitting there. And captain wanted to know what was going on. And Mo here gave him a few choice words and told him no, no food, no work. Captain said, okay. And Lieutenant Oliver got upset because you, you were scheduled for the 17 weeks of training. And if you missed, it was a setback. And Captain, he stepped in and said, I don't care. We're going to take it easy today. And these men will find out if they need a foxhole, they'll dig one to save them. And he was right. So after 17 weeks, came then, home for 10 days. And, and and then what? Did you ship overseas? Went, went back to Port Mead, got our breakfast, and then we went to probably Norfolk. They didn't tell us where, what port we went out of, but it was on a Kaiser Liberty ship. Kaiser built Liberty ships fast and moved us out. We were overloaded, slept on the deck, and Reds from Syracuse. He could go down and eat, come up and sit alongside. I could have wrecked at this head in a headlock because I couldn't eat. Then the Why, because you were sick? And you did right over the Then we went down one morning, and the first thing in the line was hot dogs, mm -hmm. six o'clock in the morning. And I went back up, and made to come up with a train. And there was a kid from Brooklyn. He said, Get Robbie, get a bottle of Coke and some crackers. He said, That'll settle you. And I did that, and I was settled after that. But I did a lot of chumming <laughs> on the deck before that, and I wasn't alone. Not bad. And we landed in North Africa for two nights.